What do we have here? What's in the box? What's in the box? Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to another exciting episode of What's in the Box here on the That Range Life YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Bill Bush of DriveRangeHeroes.com, at Range Heroes, on all your favorite social media platforms. Before we get into this, go down below, hit subscribe, okay? I need you to do that for me. And then while you're there, hit the little bell next to it so you get notified every time, every time we post a video here on the channel, okay? All right, got this little, not little, large poster tube in the mail today, but uh, I haven't ordered any concert posters and I'm not expecting any promotional materials that might come in something like this. So I'm gonna guess golf shaft. That's what it, that's what it looked like last time one of these came. It looked like, that's what I meant to say. That's what was in one of these and what the tube looked like Last time I got one of these, um, so let's get into it, all right? I remember this being tricky to open, but this one's a little torn. Maybe it won't be so bad. I might not even need the knife. Yeah, don't even need it. So let's close my knife for safe knife practices, okay? Pop this guy open. It's harder than it looks, all right? Papers wedged down there, packing paper. Oh, got it, got it. Can I dump it out? Nope, oh, I got it. As I suspected, a golf shaft. What is it? Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here today is indeed the new Project X Hazardous Silver Gen 4 Golf Shaft. Now, you may remember we recently, maybe Chris can put a card up here somewhere, we recently did an unboxing of the um, Hazardous Black Gen 4 and the Hazardous Red CB Gen 4, okay? This is the new silver. So where does the silver fit in the family? Right between the black and the red models that are already out. That's that's the best way I would explain it. Um, have the dual, uh, dual, what is it? Dual torsional density? It says so right here. Yeah, dual torsional design, design, okay? And what does that mean? Basically, this design is to make the shaft stable more stable yet playable okay so that's been the big the big race in the golf shaft world is how do you get a lot of stability into the golf shaft without killing the feel this has been uh project x's latest effort to do so in the hazardous lineup which is notor notorious for being a stable and stout shaft for players with um i'd say more aggressive or firmer temples, but basically if you want something that's a little more stable that you can really like feel that torque and control, I always feel like the hazardous is a good option. The silver fits in the family this way. If you have a moderate tempo, you want a mid launch, mid spin, which is similar to what the red CB offers, um, but you want something a little closer to the black, but maybe you don't have the swing for the, the black gen four. Um, this might be a better fit for you. So, it's available in 50 grams, which black is not, I don't think, but 50 grams in regular and stiff flex. Uh, it is available in 60 grams in regular, stiff, and extra stiff, or five and a half, 6.0, six and a half, for those of you who are wondering what Project X calls them, or 70 grams, same thing, five and a half, six, six and a half, or regular, stiff, extra stiff, okay? Um, higher torque, then the black Gen 4, but lower torque than the red CB. So again, slotting right in between the two. Um, I didn't see anything when I looked it up about having counterbalance in it. So I think from that perspective, it's, it's also not 40 grams. 40 grams, you need that counterbalance, I think, more than you do in your 50 to 70 grams. That said, some people prefer that balance. So um, not in this guy, but that's all right. I think it'll probably be fine. What else? Um... Do you want to talk about that dual torsional design a little bit? So um, 
It's essentially a Project X's process that allows them more freedom, okay? So that means they are using certain materials where they can really like pile up, pile up layers in strategic places and probably get a good amount in the tip section of the stat of the shaft to keep it solid. But, um, you know, there, there's certain places where you don't want a bunch of wraps in uh, heavier, heavier concentrations of your of your carbon fibers that go into this. So you get the right flex profile. Theoretically, this process is allowing them to be more optimal with that. Therefore, OK, producing a fully optimized golf shaft for a good player profile. All right. So I think this one's going to appeal to a wider variety of players where red CB is probably for going to be a better fit for players with slower swing speeds. Maybe need to help getting it up in the air uh, where whereas black is for the super aggressive tempos. Uh, you really need to put a good swing on the ball. Historically, that's where it fits. This is going to be your Goldilocks option. The silver is, should, in theory, fit right in the middle. Uh, nice, easy, smooth swing, but you can tip it maybe and get it a little firm up a little bit. Um, I think more in the that middle area where the majority of amateur golfers fall. I'm curious. I haven't seen yet, but I could see this being a pretty common stock option for a lot of the a lot of the drivers out there this year. But I don't know that. I, it remains to be seen for me. I have to do some research. So there you have it. The Project X Hazardous Silver Gen 4. I forgot to say, that's the fourth. You could probably figure this out for yourself, but the fourth generation in the Hazardous lineup. Okay? You went Hazardous, Hazardous Smoke, Hazardous Smoke, Hazardous Smoke RDX. Now we're on Gen 4. All right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Go down below. Hey, have you hit this yet? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, Chris and I will get up. And get a get some content, maybe uh maybe a video on this soon, either or a review over drivingchairs.com. Either one, they're both gonna happen. Thanks for following, thanks for stopping by. Talk to you next time.